Last week on the Lost Gardens of Chateau de Rosière, we began installation of the 150-year-old greenhouse that Mark rescued from demolition. This week it's a real family affair, as we work together to install a huge water tank behind the building that Mark has converted into a technical room, or garden shed as he calls it, with just a smidgen of understatement. We brought back a big uh, water cistern that I'm going to bury at the back of the garden shed. So we have a good water storage, uh, especially in winter actually, when I cut the mains water so the pipes don't freeze. So it didn't quite fit in the van. It, the cistern is four cubic meters, so it's a reasonable amount of water. You made Clément. Apparently I put it with water inside so it's already a bit heavier. Did they throw that in for free? Uh, it didn't cost me more. There's a, there's a child lock on the cap, which is good. It's going to be interesting. Another cool project. We've had some humidity problems in the garden shed because it wasn't meant to be a shed originally. It was a water cistern. And therefore, all the back part is buried. And I had planned to put a membrane to, to make the drainage uh, better. And I thought since I need to excavate uh, this, uh, this wall anyway, I'm going to bury a water cistern right at the back so I can store the water from a spring we have on the driveway and uh, use it in winter for watering the plants in the, in the shed. I need to excavate a big uh, volume of earth from the back of the shed and we are going to bury the cistern right here and then we will uh, extend the wall uh, so that it comes and dies in the slope and then we will landscape all this bit uh, so it's nice and, uh, and smooth and good looking. <laughs> What's that? I found this beautiful stone buried right behind the cistern. It was uh, half sunk into the, the concrete when they built it. And it's actually carved on all sides. Uh, probably the, the top of a column or uh, something like this. And what's really interesting is that it's the first one I find on the estate uh, so far. So it must have been a really nice feature. It's uh, really beautiful, I'm keeping it on the side. It's perfectly flat here and shaped like a little, uh, a little hat.
I feel like I'm mining gold. When they built the cistern in the 1970s, the back filled all the back with beautiful building stones and a lot of them have uh, flat sides and are perfectly square. So it, uh, it's completely priceless when you're doing some renovation work. So I'm digging as much as I can to take them out and uh, even though I don't need uh, such a big hole. At least I won't have very far to go to find stones to rebuild the wall. I think it's deep enough and actually when I see how it was built I'm not surprised it wasn't watertight. What I'm going to do now is put uh, my membrane to prevent the water from uh, going through the wall. And then I'll position the... I need to flatten the, the bottom, position this, the cistern, and I'll put a layer of cobbles between the, the cistern and the back wall in order to make a good drainage. So the water goes around the, the building rather than uh, going in. And I'll make a drain here uh, so it all uh, flows out. In order to prevent water seepage into the buried part of the old stone building and to bury the large water collection tank, we will first excavate along the rear wall. Next, we will lay a waterproof membrane against the rear wall of the building. Then we will fill the base of the hole with rubble to create a drainage level. On top of this we will lay geotextile and then on top of that a layer of gravel to act as a softer cushion for the plastic water system. The large plastic water tank will then be laid in place. We will backfill around it and finally we will build a wall in line with the existing stone building to hold the water storage tank firmly in place. I mean, that's a big hole. Whoa! So now I would like to flatten the bottom of the hole with rubble and uh, uh, cobbles to make uh, to make it completely flat, so we can lay the cistern on it. Brilliant! What can I do to help? Uh, if you 
Well, we need the, one of us needs to drive the tractor and bring some gravel uh, back from the other pile. Yeah. And the other one needs to spread, so whichever you, okay. you like. Okay, I'll drive the tractor, it's fine. Thanks. This morning, whilst Mark was digging his massive hole, that turkey. This morning, whilst Mark was digging his massive hole, I was taking the kids to their Wednesday swimming class, which why I wasn't, is why I wasn't here to help. But I'm back now, the kids have had their lunch, and so I'm gonna be taking over on the tractor, which I hate driving. Um, I'm quite scared of it, but I didn't tell Mark. <laughs> tiny bit in every go. Mark is going to say something to me. Why did you not fill the bucket? <laughs> it took me about five goes, that did. Five goes to get that much. I don't like going down holes. I think it's going to be better if you do this bit. We have time. <laughs> want me to weight the edge down so they don't yeah. the bubble doesn't come on yeah these. that's it yep. what i'd like to fill up with the stones is basically i'd like to reach this level okay great Maybe. yeah
thing there. As always seems to happen, the kids need something. Juliet banged her head. I had to go and get her some extra clothes. She wanted to sleep and she didn't want to sleep. So I had to abandon Mark for a bit, but I'm back now and she's on a pile of dirt. I'll help you move the big ones. Yeah, we need to be uh, back here. done a quite good so job. Yeah, actually we need to dig a bit more. No, you joking. It's starting to look quite good. What do you think? I have no idea what your plan is, so I'm just doing... I don't really have a plan. I'm, uh... <laughs> you want to put a cistern in here and have it flat, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, is it roughly the right depth? Yeah, it's. Um, I think it's better to have it uh, actually a bit lower. Yeah. And we can uh, recess the the hole. Found the key. I have a leftover piece of geotextile that uh, the previous owners left behind. It's the just an off cut of a roll, so it's uh, annoyingly uh, really narrow. But I'll just put some strips over the, the drainage to prevent the, the soil from uh, sinking through and make sure it keeps draining. been doing it all day. So that would be perfectly level. So how does it look now? Yeah, almost exactly. Yeah. Like a bit lower your side, low, low. There. That would be oh, totally. That looks, uh, looks about that's perfect good, yeah. to me. Do you want to do it across the side just to check it's lower yeah. that way? Do diagonally. Well, diagonally, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, I think it's fine because anyway it will uh, it will adjust itself. Yeah, I think there's gonna you're gonna have a sort of one centimetre yeah. lower on that Perfect. side, which is Perfect. good. So I'm going to get uh, a plank. We'll need some help from uh, the monkeys. Really? It's for uh, compacting. Oh, okay. It will be, uh, we'll need everybody to jump on a plank. Okay. 
We need your help. You need to walk up and down here. Oh, thanks. It's a bit heavy because they supplied it with water inside. Don't fit under the arch, oh. and then I'd be stuck with the digger. You think it will fit? It's surprisingly effective. <laughs> yes, we can. <laughs> can we bury it? <laughs> that is very <really> sinister. <laughs> can we bury it? Yes, we can. And you definitely want that bit of that end. Uh, yeah. Good. What can happen with this cistern is if you have very heavy rain and the tank is empty, it will float out of the ground. Uh, but here it's not going to happen no. with all the drainage we've put uh, underneath. Mm. I'm staying down. Mark, do you want me down here? Just to guide me because I won't have a lot of visibility. Yeah. So at the yeah. end, grab the side and pivot it a mm. bit. Uh, yeah. further out if you can. It's looking good. <laughs> it's swinging. <clears throat> How close to the wall do you want it? Uh, probably reasonably close. To that end or yeah, this end? To that end. Yeah, it's just too far that way because it's too not far flat then, Which that way? way. It's not flat. Uh, ah, okay. Uh, if you lift oh, it up yeah. a bit, I'll move it. Yeah. I'll move it out. So how? Right. Yeah. Now have a look. Tell me what you think. Yeah, that's not bad. This end needs just to, there. I think, and then it might need a couple of things under either side of it to... Yeah, we'll, uh, I'll add some more uh, gravel probably or... Uh, and also I want to keep some space around because I'll need to drill a hole in the, in the wall. Yeah. To have the pipes going through. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, and okay, cool. The connections. That's amazing. Yeah, and that's it means now that if it rains again before we've filled it, it'll still just drain yeah. either side, won't it? Yeah. So we dug a hole, we filled it back in again. And now we have a big pile. <laughs> I think we did a good job today. I'm yeah. sorry I was so rubbish with the tractor, but I was decent with a rake and with moving stones. You were really impressive. <laughs> Next stage is connecting it to the inside, inside. and the outside. And the outside. Thank you for watching. Um, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Yes, please.